Hey guys, this is Lorna. She is a beginner in beach volleyball and today I'm going to take her through some passing and some attacking for a beginner in beach volleyball, some tricks that she can take away to become a better player. Hey guys, welcome to the Veteran Beach YouTube channel. Today I am joined by the wonderful Lorna, who is a local to us here in California, and she is a beginner in beach volleyball. She wanted to come out and get some tips and some ideas so that she can hop in with her friends and play some fun beach volleyball. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take Lorna through some passing and some attacking, and you're going to see what it feels like to be a beginner and you're also going to get some cues from me that I commonly give to beginners who are trying to learn the sport for the first time or are very raw in their beginning. If you're at home and you're trying to get better at beach volleyball, please go down below and check out our beach volleyball mastery program. We have people who are complete beginners, we have pros, we have people representing their federation playing in a foreign country that are all working with our coaches on how they can get better at beach volleyball. So if you are interested in that, please click the link below to sign up today. Let's get going. So actually it's kind of perfect. See how I drew this line? So normally what we coach is two on two, okay? In the South Bay, you can find four on four, six on six, whatever. Um, the concepts don't really change too much. It's more just where you're gonna be standing, how much space you're gonna be kind of in charge of. Okay, so if you notice, like I have, a, I have a line straight down the middle. And if we were playing two on two, then you would be in charge of this half of the court, I would be in charge of this half of the court, and then we would have a server on that side serving over, right? So whenever we're passing, which is gonna be our first touch, we always wanna pass the ball kind of on your half of the court, so that whenever, if I was gonna come set you, I would be setting from about here and then you would take your approach to go hit over the net. For right now, we're just gonna pass back and forth. And so you're allowed to do anything with your hands together. Even like if I toss the ball high to you, we don't, we don't encourage it, but you have to keep your hands together. If you have your hands apart, they're gonna call that a double. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, so if the ball comes over to you in a tie, just make sure you keep those hands together or however you wanna do it and use those hands together rather than apart. Okay, but I'm gonna to be tossing everything low for you so that you can pass here. All right, so we'll just see five of them. You just pass right back to me. Perfect. Good. 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 Nice. One really, really good thing is that your hand holding is really solid. Okay, so you're doing a really good job of getting your hands together. You're not doing the intertwining that we normally see with beginners. So you have your hands together and that's really important. The things that I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on keeping your elbows as straight as possible throughout the entire pass, okay? So when you put your hands together, those elbows are locked out. So let's see, so see how you're, let's try to align those thumbs a little bit. There you go, that's how I want you to hold, all right? So once we have that hold, and the reason we do that is it makes a platform now from the tips of our thumbs all the way up to our elbows, right? If we're a little off balance, then see how that kind of makes my platform a little, look a little wonky? Okay, so we're gonna have that good handhold. We're gonna lock out our elbows. And then instead of relying completely on a stand up, I want you to try to keep your legs strong and just give me a little push. So it's gonna be more of like an arm push than it is gonna be a complete leg lift. All right, when you were doing your last round, you were very much, you weren't using your shoulders at all. You're just using those, that leg pop. And that's why you're kind of finding a little bit of power issues. So we're gonna keep our legs strong. And I'm okay with you standing up a little bit, right, as you're passing, but let's also encourage a little bit of movement with our shoulders. So you're just focusing on really good handhold and then the straight arms. So that's kind of one, the first key. And then the second key, is kind of getting rid of this complete pop-up and allowing for a little bit more of a push. Okay, you ready? Good. Now let's just try, I want you right now, just so we can get the direction of the ball, I want you to try to hit me right in the forehead. Okay. It's all right. So you see how your legs, 
where it can, we're kind of straight. So let's really try to get to that ball, have those strong legs, and then I need this. So you should almost feel like you're pointing at me when you're done. So let's go ahead and get those arms straight. Good. Good. Let's move those feet every single time. I don't think your feet have moved since you touched the sand. All right, so let's get, go ahead and go like this for me. There you go. Good, that was perfect. Good. Good. So, I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, I love that this one foot is moving. Okay, let's, let's see if we can get both of them to move. Yeah, so if one foot moves, the other one has to follow it. So that way we're strong here and we can allow this pass to happen. Good. So we just got to find a little bit of a timing, right? So right now you're, you're just touching the ball at a weird spot. So let's keep those arms all the way out here. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Nice job. Good. And we'll worry about the angle later, but this touch, it, do you, do, can you hear it, how it sounds a little bit different? That's what we're going for. Good. Good. Arm straight. Yeah. I like that one a lot. One more. Oh. So did you feel how there's just a little disconnect between the timing of your steps and the timing of your swing. You can't swing your arms as you're stepping because if you're not strong down here, you're not gonna be stable up here. Okay, so when that ball gets tossed to you, make sure we're getting there, getting stopped quick so that we feel strong down here, and then that'll allow us to be a little bit more flexible up top. Arm straight, there you go. Good. So that was a missed timing again. So it, 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 almost feel, it almost looks like you're like catching the ball and then springing it off of you. It needs to be like baseball. When this ball comes to you, you're hitting it. Okay, arm straight. Good. Where did that ball hit you? Okay, so if you get your platform together, okay. If you had a choice, what, what area on your arm is the flattest spot possible that covers the most area. Oh, that covers the most area would be Probably around area. here, right? Okay. So the reason we don't want to hit on our knuckles is because that's a lot of bones and a lot of different ridges. So that's why we see the ball kind of bouncing in different directions. Okay. Right. So let's try these next couple. I want you to really focus on getting this ball in the meat of your arm right. and still finding that quick kind of nice touch. Okay, do you feel how the timing was off again? Yeah. yeah. So it, I know it's a lot, it's tough, but being able to put those together, that'll, that'll make everything good. So let's try to get one really good one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Timing still looks a little, it looks like you're scared of this thing. Like when you pass this ball, it's okay to hit this thing as hard as you want, okay? If you, it's not gonna hurt you, you're not gonna hurt this ball. Yeah, that was better. Just try to find that angle so that you're hitting me in the forehead. Yeah, perfect. I like that one a lot. Let's do one more just like that. Yeah, I like this. So, the first thing I want you to do, have you hit a ball before? Like over the net? Okay, okay. So, what we do is after you would pass, you would then wait for the setter to set the ball, and then you would come over and try to hit the ball over the net to score a point, okay? Um, the way that we do that, and I want you, I just wanna show you the approach first. So if I'm passing from here, so you can kind of stand back here for a second. If I'm passing from here, then I'm gonna make my pass, and then I'm going to kind of step away from where I pass, or I'm gonna shuffle away. Okay, once I do that, then I'm waiting for my first step to be when the setter touches the ball. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a four step approach. All right, so 
What I mean by a four-step approach is I'm gonna use, are you right-handed? Okay, so when I go to make this approach, I'm gonna go with my right foot on the setter's touch, my left foot, and then I'm gonna go both of my feet, okay? And once both of those feet hit the ground, then I would jump in the air to make my hit, okay? So a little bit quicker, this is what it would look like, is I have my pass, I get away from my position by shuffling, I have my right, left, right, left, and then I would hit. What I wanna do first is I want you to do it without the ball, okay? So we're gonna see a couple where I'm gonna kinda of coach you through the approach, and then once I feel like you have the approach down, then I'll just have you hit like five balls. Okay, so you're gonna start inside of this ball, right? So right here. You're gonna pass, and then I need you to go around this ball, and then I wanna see right, left, right, left jump, pass, shuffle, good, right, left, right, left, and then you would jump. Okay, so this is where I want your first step to happen, and this is where I want your second step to happen, and then I want you to jump into this box, but it's full of lava, okay? okay. You don't wanna spend a lot of time in here, so you gotta jump right out, okay? So when we make this pass, I'm making my pass, I'm shuffling around this ball, first step on the blue cone, second step on the orange cone, in the lava, out of the lava. Shuffle, good, uh-huh, right, left, in the lava, out of the lava. Get out of the lava, you're in the lava still, oh my gosh. Okay, good, <laughs> I was worried about you. Pass, right, left, Right, left, oh my gosh, that was good, that was good. Don't even, don't worry about where you land. That looks really good. Okay, for these next two, I want you to do the same thing, except when you jump in the air out of this lava, I want you to act like you're pulling a bow and arrow. Pass, shuffle, right, left, and bow and arrow. Yeah, good. The footsteps are great. The one thing that we wanna think about is as we're going through these steps, mm -hmm. from this first step mm -hmm. to when I'm jumping into that lava, mm -hmm. each step needs to get faster. Okay. Okay? So right now it's kind of like right, left, and then you're getting here and you're staying here really long, and then you're trying to jump. So let's try to use this momentum, okay. right? So we're gonna make that pass, we're gonna go a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, and then really fast. Okay? okay? And let's try to find that bow and arrow. Okay. Pass. Shuffle, right, left, right, left. Oh, that was money. I like that one. That was really good. Okay, now we're gonna try to hit, a, hit some, okay? So, I, and all I'm gonna do, this is gonna be very, very beginner, is I'm gonna be right here, and once I feel you making these two steps, I'm gonna toss the ball very low, and I just want you to try to get those feet into the lava, and then I just want you to try to hit this ball over the net. And when you go to make an arm swing, for right now, the only thing I'm gonna tell you is I want you to treat it like you're throwing a ball. Okay. okay, so imagine if I gave you a tennis ball and you were holding this tennis ball in your hand. When you go to make this ball, you're gonna act like you're throwing this ball over the net, except instead of having a ball in, the, in your hand, you're gonna, I'm gonna to toss a ball and you're just gonna throw and hit it. So pass, shuffle, right, left, right, left. Good. That was really good. Pass, shuffle, right, left, right, left. Good, nice. Pass, shuffle, right, left, right, left. Oh, there we go. Hey, we got it over. So that one, did you notice that I tossed it a little bit earlier? Yes. So that's kind of getting more realistic of what this is gonna feel like. So eventually when you make your shuffle and that timing step happens, that's gonna be when I push this ball to the sky. And then you're gonna use those steps to go attack the ball. Right now, because you're a beginner, I'm, I'm slowing it down a little bit and making it a little bit easier. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. So pass, shuffle, right, left, right, left. Oh, good try. So right now what's happening with your swing is you're getting this elbow in front so that the only power that you have is pushing this ball over the net. Remember, I want you to think about throwing this ball, right? So when you go to hit this ball, like I want you to think about aiming for that swing set. Okay. 
right? And if I gave you a tennis ball to throw that swing set, you wouldn't throw it like this, right? You would get that elbow back and make a full throw. Nice! That was good, that was a great one. Shuffle, right, left, right, left. Oh, that was it. We're gonna make that one go over. <laughs> All right, guys, so those are the keys and cues that I would commonly use for a beginner who is trying to learn how to pass and try to learn how to, to attack. Just letting you know, beach volleyball is not an easy sport. It takes a lot of muscle memory, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. And when you are first starting out, just know that it's not going to come as easy as you think because there are a lot of cues and keys and concepts that you have to think about all the time, whether it's dealing with your legs or your arms or your back or your vision. There is always something that you can be working on with beach volleyball, especially when you come out as a beginner. So hopefully you guys took away a lot from this lesson. If you could, in the comments below, what are some skills and some skill levels that you would like to see me work on in the future? We really, really enjoy coming out here with players that are like you guys, and it seems like we get a lot of really good feedback when we have live coaching sessions, so I would love your feedback.